What's up guys, this is Foden here with a Cinema 4D tutorial on using Boolies. Now I think I've pronounced that right, Boolie, but you know. Anyway, we're going to get straight into it. Basically, what a Boolie is, is it uses so, uh, a model's mesh to subtract... I don't know how to explain it. Like, Say I had a, a cube here and a cube here. Oops. There. If I wanted to make this smaller, basically what a boolie does is it, it will use this model, or this is what I'm going to use it for, I'm going to use this model to cut into another shape, like into another model. So, for example, let me just add the boolie, and you can find the boolie in this one. Hold that down and go to boolie. And basically what you want to do is you want to drag both of the cubes in, but drag the object that you want to be affected at the top so the affected one will be at the bottom and that becomes invisible and if I just move this in you'll see what happens there we go it basically wow. uses this model to cut into another shape um, and it's very useful in modeling very useful I mean what I can do is I can just extend that out now and I can leave it like that look at that we got a, a new shape uh, without going all fancy fancy with it. Um, however, it doesn't just have to be a square if you want it to be a circle, uh, like a sphere, sorry. Um, drag that into the boolie, but that has to be at the bottom, so there we go. And if we drag the sphere to about here, now we've got a, I don't know what kind of shape that is, but basically that's what the boolie does. It uses one shape in order to cut into another one. Now sometimes you may need to e make the object editable. Uh, sorry, editable. Oh, I can't say it. Okay. My accent. Editable. There we go. Um, and to do that you just select the objects. You can either click C for cat uh, or Charlie uh, or you can click this button here. And then there we go. So if it doesn't work try doing that and it should work. And basically, what you can still do is you can still animate. Actually, look at that. Look. I mean, you can't see it well, actually, but yeah, you can. Instead of making that a solid model, what you can do is, you, if you want to change it, you can go, "Oh shit, that doesn't look right." Bring that out a bit more. So using boolies can help you actually model because you can still edit the adjustments that you make. Now, I don't usually I use boolies for like like I said modeling, but um, I don't know how to. What can I do? Let's go to a sphere, and we're just gonna I'm just gonna like just do some random stuff just just so I can show you. There we go. So I want to add a boolean there. So basically, if I want this cylinder to cut a hole through this sphere I need to add the boolie I need to drag them both in but because I want the sphere to be affected that needs to go on top otherwise the sphere is cutting out into the cylinder but I want it the other way around so there we go so if that, I hope that makes sense guys you might find use for it when you, you do your modeling or whatever um, but you know it's just one of those things where it's useful to know just in case you need it. So please like and comment and I'll see you in the next video guys. Peace.